This morning, we continue our special series that we call Kindness 101. I like that title. It's one of our favorite storytellers, Steve Hartman. So we all know Steve from his On the Road, his Emmy-winning series for the CBS Evening News. And now he shares the stories that are built around the themes of kindness and character and the people who have mastered those qualities. It's a good topic of discussion for kids. But we also believe that adults will learn a thing or two as well in this lesson. Today's lesson is the E-word empathy. Steve and his son and daughter introduce us to a selfless little boy whose favorite thing to do, favorite thing to do, helping others. Good morning. I'm here with my daughter, Meryl. Hi. And today we're going to explore... Empathy. What is empathy? For that, we go over to your brother, Emmett, at the dictionary desk. Emmett? So empathy is to experience the thoughts or feelings of someone else. Yeah, or the ability to look at what someone else is going through and say, what if that was me? This is a very important quality because without empathy, people wouldn't care enough to help each other. It would be like, hey, you handle that yourself. That's exactly it's what it would be. It's hard to imagine. Well, fortunately, America is full of empaths. Those are empathetic people. <laughs> and I have an example to illustrate. A story pulled from our archives about a preschooler who is so empathetic, it's his superpower. He's faster than a speeding stroller, more adorable than a wet kitten, and able to get a stranger's attention with a single courtesy. Excuse this is America's latest superhero. Don't forget to show love. And the only superhero with the power to feed the homeless. Now, why do you do that? You know what, Mr. C? It's just the right thing to do. Is it? Yes. You want honey? By day, Austin P. Ryan is a mild-mannered four-year-old from Birmingham, Alabama. But about once a week, he turns into this alter ego. Would you like a sandwich? A superhero set on feeding as many homeless people as possible. Thank you. What's your superhero name? President Austin. President Austin. President Austin. President Austin. President Austin. That's his idea of what the president is supposed to do. I was like, buddy, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'm going along with it. TJ says this all began when they were watching a TV show about pandas. It showed a mama panda abandoning a baby. TJ told his son the cub was now homeless. He says, what's homeless? I said, well, it's when you don't have a home and sometimes you don't have mom or dad around. I can tell what the follow-up question is going to be. Yeah, are people homeless? When I was a four-year-old, I didn't care about helping people. I did. I see. Once Austin learned some people are homeless and some are even hungry, he launched this caped crusade told his mom and dad that he wanted all his allowance and money they would spend on toys Here you go. to go toward chicken sandwiches instead. Oh, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Don't forget to show up. After he gives out each sandwich, yes. he gives each person that same bit of advice. Don't forget to show love. Don't forget to show love, he tells them. And most do, immediately. I want to thank you. It warms my heart to see him. It'll warm anyone's heart. Yeah, he really did, man. Raymond Boss says this kid gives him hope. That's, that's, that's where it starts. Don't forget to show love. Everyone who meets Austin leaves with hope. Which is why, with any luck, someday President Austin won't be a superhero anymore. Being the homeless is the highlight of my life. He'll just be a president. All right, come on, Austin. Superhero and announced 2052 presidential candidate Austin P. Ryan joins us now. Hello, Austin. Hey, TJ. Hello. Hello. Do you still feed homeless people? Yes. I do it once a week. You still wear the cape? No, because I was getting, like, too much attention. Everyone was noticing me, and I wanted to be more about the homeless people. TJ, did you raise him to be like this, or is this just coincidence? Well, it's a combination of both. I try to do the best I can, but I'm a lucky guy as well. It's just something that I love to do. It's like my passion. I got to feed them, you know? What are you thinking? Everything. You just made my daughter get emotional. <laughs> no, but I think everybody feels the same thing. It's OK. No, we just think you're a really sweet young man, and we're glad you're out there helping people. Feeding the homeless is still the highlight of my life. Beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, you two. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And Meryl, if you're empathetic, you know what I'm feeling now. 
happy that we did that story. Yes. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay kind. Gosh, I'm with you, Meryl. I wanted to fall into Steve's lap, too. Oh, President oh, Austin. Geez. Amazing. Four years later, he still has that light and still is out there. What did he say? Feeding the homeless is a highlight of my life. Highlight of my life. What is it, 2052, his uh, presidential run? He'll be eligible at that point. I, I love his, uh, his catchphrase as well. Don't forget to Don't show forget love. To show Don't forget love. to show love. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Nice job, President Austin and Dad, too. Nicely done. Right. We invite you to share your Kindness 101 stories with your kids. It could be a nice after-school activity, and you can find all of these Kindness 101 episodes on our website, cbsnews.com slash kindness101. You can also find them on our Facebook page. Stories you can't like do this. enough of these stories, You're in my right. opinion. They give you the feels, Gail. Yes.